Well, here at the beginning of October, I just wanted to give you a brief financial report uh, based on the numbers that are attached in this email with the graphs and financial reports of where we are currently as a church, where we're headed, and a couple things that we're looking to in the future. But at the end of September, you can see in our financial report that our year-to-date expenses are just under our year-to-date receipts. Well, after this past Sunday's offering on October 6th, we are $8,800 behind or under what our projected receipts are for 2024 up until this point. But to put it into context, our average weekly requirement to take in is $9,200 per week, which means we're just under one week's worth of receipts to be right on par or on schedule with our projected budget. Now in Trinity's history, we're actually right where we typically are, if not a little bit ahead. And so this is something that we need to be able to celebrate and praise God as he continues to provide for us moving forward as a church for the ministry that he is calling us to. And as it's the beginning of October, we have now entered into another budgeting season where our finance team is working with different entities of the leadership team looking to put together and propose a 2025 budget. Once this budget is put together, we're going to send that budget out to you in the beginning of December. And then come mid-December, we will have our annual business meeting where we will then go over the financials from 2024 and then discuss and approve the 2025 budget. And the final thing that we wanted to update you on is the state of our air conditioner and the process moving forward. Well, our leadership team is in the process of receiving bids for a new air conditioning system. Uh, there are different ways and methods to heat and cool our facility, and so they're going to be weighing the different options that are presented to them from various companies. Now, I will also say that we have about $60,000 that's saved up in a designated air conditioning fund that had begun in 2016. And so just if you were on that team, uh, or, if, or even if you weren't, we just need to say a quick thank you uh, to those who had the foresight and, and thought to establish that account at that point in time, because now here eight years later, we're gonna be reaping the benefits of that intentionality and stewardship. Uh, and it just goes to show for us what that should look like moving forward as our stewardship now impacts people in the future. But until then, as a church, I just wanna encourage you that God is continuing to provide for us. He's continuing to bless the ministries of Trinity, and that has a large part to do with the, with, with the faithfulness of our church members saying, this is money that I want to sacrifice for the glory of God, for his kingdom, and to see how the fruit of that continues to come because of, of faithfulness and obedience. It's not anything that we are that is our action that we've started. It's only something that we are taking a part in and participating in what God has in store for us and for our community. And we have the opportunity and the blessing of having a front row seat to what God is doing.